kind of hear the distant noise of automobiles. <laughs> Our way to the street, probably. Very short. Down here in the... Yeah, it's a, it's a shrubby beach forest. This will all be bright yellow in another couple of weeks. I know. Yeah, it's as if the blazing's kind of been removed or something. We'll probably run into it. Let's see. Nothing much looking back that way either. Flatland, sort of, again. Yeah, it kind of sounds like high school drum pounding or something. Or no, plane engine. <laughs> I was premature, seems to be <laughs> the essence of my day. We're rounding it back. It's sort of <laughs> Chris's cliche chowder day, where my usual sequence is well, yeah, cliche is we're all scrambled. Making yourself look really dumb after saying something really profound. <laughs> yeah, assuming sticking such your foot right in it, going, oh my god. It's perfect. Yep. Few lonely bird things. I haven't been scolded by any chipmunks in a while. What's no, with that? <laughs> is this a chipmunk holiday that no one's told us about? They're all sleeping off chipmunk hangovers. Yes, we're losing altitude. It has all the hallmarks of, of a descent. Heart be still. Oh, and I think I sight. Oh yeah, I'm seeing the kind of. Yes, there's a, there's glimpses of suburbia through the bushes. I suspect it's suburbia. Yes, that's suburbia. Oh, we found suburbia. which tells us that the, this suburbia is peeping through the trees and the road to our salvation be far away. <laughs> yeah, lots of cool boulders. Moss. 
the cistern from Sharon. Now that was a find. Oh, a moose? Yeah. yeah We're in the proverbial home stretch. Suburbia Ho. Oh, a scolding chipmunk has finally stepped forward from the forest. Yes. It sounds like a Sopranino prairie dog. Yeah. yeah, that's sort of looking like, it's beginning to look a lot like suburbia. Yeah. Don't let it disturb you. So cool. That means that we've covered a significant part of the amenities one finds to the base of the trail in the charming town of Medfield. Ah yes, there's all of a sudden the chipmunk alarm system has kicked in. It's kind of ultrasonic. <laughs> Well, for years I thought they were birds, but no. The other one was more of a, more of a weed, a claw. And see, you also finally explained that other noise, humping raccoons. Oh, yes. Because that was, I was assuming that was some kind of bird. No, it's just a raccoon, it's not going nuts. Yeah, well, no, I even looked up some sound files, and sure enough, that's right. I've never heard so many like that in my life. Yeah. That's in uh it's probably a Charles like, River Link trail on that. Yeah, it's probably a raccoon yeah. convention. Then, a week later, I go home and they say they're doing the same thing at my house. Yeah. You know, and they're going nuts for about a week and then a week later it just stops. Right. And you never hear from them again. And a turn is indicated. Well, not just that, it's like, it must be interesting for the native birds, your nuthatches and chickadees, when all the neotropicals head south, <laughs> they get the woods back to themselves. Right. <laughs> Probably around here for almost six months of the year. Because the nuthatches are kind of small and the brown creepers, so they can subsist on ants. Because again, a lot of the migration cycles are tied to available food. So the things that will eat seeds show up first, and then the things that need bugs show up later, depending on the bug size. But some things can get by on the strange little bugs that are sort of around even in the midst of a winter. Oh, look, I see evidence of a street. Yeah. Nice. So that's going north all the way to Newbury. And this, oh, it looks like some kind of almost little ad hoc parking lot thing. This steep descent brings us back to the modern suburban road grid that we know, crave, and love. 
Admittedly, it's just a little eddy of the thing, but it'll work. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, it's funny how the scents are often as hazardous as as scents. Sometimes maybe even more so. Yeah. Oh, there's some interesting bracket fungi. And there's a gun club having fun. All right, it's map exercise time. We're here at Noon Hill Road, and we did follow this yellow trail, which also has blue on it. And that's where all the blazing's crappy. Once you get into the town of Medfield, the blazing falls off the cliff. Right, right here, it's bang, what yeah. the shit. So it's all crappy there. Right. The rest of it's fine. It wasn't too bad done. once we were on this. So this would be it. We did go through a bunch of Medfield town land and that's where the blazing is crappy. There's kind of a little loop parking lot here. And there's more parking over here. So this is a great spot for parking. Plenty of room. I think it's the town forest or some aspect of such. And what the Bay Circuit will now continue this way off through Southeast Medfield and phase into Mine Brook and Walpole, where I've spent stunning amounts of time lately. And then this is as far as I'll go for today. And I'm going to walk back up to the other parking lot.